Hello everybody. <clears throat> so we have a Asa Twin Combi here. Well, at least I think it's a Combi. It has a little C over there next to the keyway. I think that's what the C stands for, Combi. And it has some side pins or whatever on the left side there and then there's the pins on the top. So I'll try and pick this anyway and then while I'm picking it I shall be discussing some things that I want to mention. So I'll get my picks and see what I can do. I've never picked this thing successfully so who knows maybe we won't get through this but uh, and this will just be like an announcement video or whatever but uh, yeah let's get our pick and our tensioner try and pick this lock I'm still using this you know this is pretty much my everyday carry as I have mentioned so better figure out which way I want to tension this first This way. this way. Yeah, so I'll pick it in the anti clockwise direction. So I'm going to try and pick those side pins first and hopefully get them. So I picked something there in this core, turned a bit. Maybe they're picked, so I'll have a look at the center pins or whatever. So yeah, the first thing I can think of that I want to mention is obviously, this will just be my first announcement of my 400 subscribers. So first of all, we say a big thank you to everyone who wanted to subscribe. It's a, it's a privilege to have 400 subscribers. 400 people that actually wanted to see more of your content or whatever, so that's always cool. So thank you. And of course, it means we're going to have to do a giveaway. Okay, hang on, this uh, keyways or this oval wants to slip a bit. So yeah, giveaway. Um, I was thinking maybe this is just my initial thoughts on it. I will give two options. The first option is I can send a box of random locks and one of those locks is a tubular lock so it'll be a mix of locks and because there's a tubular lock in there I'll send a set of tubular impressioning tools because I have three sets and I don't need three sets, I really only need one. So you could have a you could have the choice between the Goso set or the uh, three piece Goso set or the three piece HUK set. The second option would be something that would cost me equally the same. And that would be first see what I can find anyway. Uh, but a, a Chubb lever or padlock, probably a cruiser or something. I don't have a cruiser myself, so maybe a Chubb cruiser padlock. But if I can find a pin tumbler, I'll get a pin tumbler. And yeah. Then we will try and send that out directly to the winner. I'm 
And then the other option is if I can find a, and that is the third option, if I can find a, but it's not really an option, it's just, you know, an in case thing. If I can find a chub padlock with pin, pins in it, I'll just include that in part of the, you know, in, a, in part of the box of random locks. But they're harder to find than lever locks. So we'll see anyway. Getting counter rotation on on the side pin here. I don't know how many side pins these things carry. But if uh, Room International is anything to go by, then I believe I have to try and rotate these things. And that's why I tried to rake it like this. And hope that I can get it to... to pick. Yeah, when I'm trying to pick these pins though, I will try and use a deeper hook because I know the first one seems to be a high cut pin anyway. Don't want to miss that one. And yeah, another thing to mention is unfortunately for me, my long term illness once again got used against me. To prevent me from doing what I wanted to do, which was become a police officer. So initially, when I left school, I wanted to join the military. Because, you know, when you're young, you want to do things like that. But that didn't work out because, at least at the medical, well, at the interview, they said, because I meant I'm such an honest person, you know, it's, I think that's a downfall. I mentioned that I had a history of epilepsy. So even though I've been, you know, they then at least then they said, you know, no, and that's fine. But then when I went for the police, right, full time, I passed. I, you know, I applied three times. Third time, I finally got to the interview. Because I'm persistent. And then I've been training like to, for fitness and stuff and getting making myself stronger and fitter. And they I did the medical. And at the medical they said we will defer your application. And which basically means that you know you they will delay making a decision and yeah they gave me a false hope for they made me wait a year and a half of my time and I would have preferred they, if they if it was going to be like an excuse as to why they can't they don't want to you know think deem me you know suit of medically fit it would have been nicer if they just you know told me at the medical instead of making me wait for nothing you know and wasting my time it's not fair on me it's not fair on everyone else in my life but then again you say you have some people that say well life isn't fair yeah I get that it's fair enough that's fair enough but for some for some employer that wants to call themselves an equal opportunities employer it's quite misleading for them to say oh well we're an equal opportunities employer, which means they shouldn't discriminate against anyone, you know, for disability or long-term illness or anything. It shouldn't bar them from doing that job, you see? Especially, right, especially if my professor in neurology knows me better and said to me that, 
in the letter to give to them that there's no, there are no um, issues in or reasons why I shouldn't be allowed to pursue such a career. You know, the professor in neurology, with their doctors, which are lower ranking than a professor and not even experts in neurology, deemed me unsuitable. So, anyway. That has to be the biggest disappointment in my whole life because I really, it's the one career I really wanted to do and now I can't do it. All I can do now is hope that one day I'll be able to do the reserves, you know, which is like part time, one, one day a week kind of thing. So that brings me on to another thing. That was really, really disappointing for me. Um, so now I have to... I'm not someone who just gives up, you know. I'm a strong person who is willing to keep fighting. And unfortunately the stupid long-term illness thing has been messing around with my life. Which is not fun. But it doesn't stop me from, you know continuing on and fighting on and what I'm going to try and do is learn to be a web developer and learn computer languages you know a web developer that would mean I'd be able to make uh, web pages for example and then yeah if I did that job in that field of industry I'd also be able to do the Garda Reserve as well. So there, at the moment, that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to be making as many videos as frequently because I have to work full time in my current job. And then I also have to make time for studying. And then I also have to make time for exercise, and I also have to make time for my fiance, and then I have to make time as well for lock sport. So I have a lot on my plate. But hopefully, I should be qualified next year, early next year, and I'll be able to change careers and do something else that's more long-term beneficial shall we say but that's, that is what it is I'm not gonna complain too much about it anyway so that's that in case you're wondering where I am and why I'm not around as often but I will still make videos of course uh, what else yeah, so obviously I'm working in the security industry at the moment. And let's have a look at these side pins again. Um yeah, working in the security industry and in America um, law enforcement officers or police they can be they can do part-time security they and security guards I don't know if they can become part-time officers or whatever but you know in Ireland however that wouldn't be allowed they don't allow security workers to even like be in the reserve police And they wouldn't let someone who's in the police be in the reserve army for whatever reasons. I don't know if it's got to do with a mix of you know mixing. I think the problem is if you have a security guard that is a police officer part time, right? Sometimes. Because you get those people, sometimes you get guys that 
mix their jobs together. The security guard will forget that he's only a security guard in, this, in that role and then try and use his policing powers in the wrong job basically. So I think that's why they don't mix people together from different fields of work like that. That's just my theory. And uh, I was watching William Mansell. I did one of his videos lately. And he uh, was playing around with his knives. And he was talking about disassembling knives and how they should be like idiot proof. It had me thinking, yeah, you have people because we get idiots everywhere you know you have to make things idiot proof products idiot proof and that's just why you do it because no matter how many instructions you provide You will always get one one dope who ruins it for everyone else. So 